Hello, it's Martin again. I have put together 15 freshwater fish that I think will make a nice and happy community aquarium setup. As usual, I'm going to let Serena narrate this video. Thanks, Martin. So, let's jump straight into your community list, and we start with the Harlequin Rasbora. These are a small, peaceful shoaling species. In the wild, this fish moves around in groups of 100 or more. However, they do extremely well in a home aquarium in groups of six or more. A very happy little fish. They will eat flake food, but they do like live food, such as bloodworm or daphnia. Next up, is the better splendon. It is also known as the, Siamese fighter. Despite its name, it is a very peaceful fish, if kept singly, while males will fight with other males, they are very placid in the community environment. They are top feeders, they will however, swim around all areas. The variation of colors are vast, here are just a few. Next up is the Black Widow Tetra. It's a good idea to house with other tetra type fish. Widow tetras, like other tetras, love to swim around and explore any action that's happening in the aquarium. Black widows are peaceful by nature. Platy type fish. This is the common platy. It's a peaceful and active fish. They are social animals, active swimmers and appreciate tanks with plenty of open swimming space. They are a comical type of fish, and do like to interact with their tank mates, and actually, their owners too. The Swordtail Platy Swordtails are one of the popular beginner fish. They adapt to many different environments. Their breeding goes back for many generations. This means there are many varieties for you to choose from within the species. The Guppy the guppy commonly known as, the millions fish. They get their name from the fact they breed, at the drop of a hat. You don't need any special requirements to make them breed. However, if you want the baby fry to survive, you will need to provide a breeding trap something like this. Otherwise, the fry will be eaten. The male, has more color than the female. Glass catfish. These very unusual looking fish, should be kept in large sized groups 6 or more, and 10 is even better. They will eat flake, along with live or frozen foods. They will also live in brackish water conditions. The Zebra Danio. It's a great starter fish. There are many varieties of this lovely fish, and they are all very similar in nature. Danios, are one of the most popular community fish. It is a peaceful fish very active and will enjoy strong currents in the aquarium. The molly fish affectionately known as, mollies. They like to be kept with smaller, or the same size fish, to avoid being bullied. They do well if kept with danios, loaches, cory catfish, tetras, loaches or barbs, mainly, other live bearers. Staying with the mollies, we have the, sailfin molly. Sailfin mollies are a very hardy fish. They make a lovely focal point when swimming. The big attraction with this fish is the huge dorsal fin, wafting in the current as it swims. Cory catfish. Also known as the Corydoras catfish. A very popular community fish, because they spend their days, just cleaning up after everybody. They are easy to breed and a great member of the cleanup crew. You could say, it's a must-have fish, as it does a very important job. The Pearlger Army. The Pearlger Army is a very calm fish. They are happy to live with various tank mates. Pearls, get on well with small schooling fish like tetras, rasboras, and danios. It's intriguing to watch them use their feelers to check out their surroundings. They can be a little territorial during breeding time. However, they are not overly aggressive. Most fish can be aggressive during breeding anyway. Angelfish. Angelfish, in the wild these are a shoaling fish. 
Martin has picked the angel as a centerpiece fish. Having just one seems to make them more friendly towards other tank mates. You can try having a few, but if attitude starts, you must remove all but one. Neon Tetra Neon Tetras are a peaceful community fish. Not to be confused with the Cardinal Tetra. They look very similar, but they are different fish. Most Neon Tetras are captive raised, making it a good choice. A shell of 10 to 20 looks nice as they all flow together. Martin doesn't recommend putting Neons with predatory fish. Cardinal Tetra Sadly, most Cardinals are wild caught. Tank bred ones are generally hardier and better suited for aquarium life. Cardinal tetras, like other tetra species, are peaceful, social fish that should be kept in schools of around 10 to 20 if you have the water volume. The dwarf gur army. This is another fish that should be added as a showpiece fish. A few dwarf gur armies will only work in a large aquarium where males can't find each other. Try keeping them with peaceful Similar sized fish like Corridorus catfish, tetras, rasboras, loaches, and platys. All of the fish mentioned will eat, flake, pellet, or live food. So there you have it 15 fish that, in my opinion, will make a lovely community aquarium. If you could like and subscribe, that would really spur me on to make more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching.